Hello everyone, I'm Rupert Vandervel and welcome to my channel. We've reached a time of year here in the UK where the clocks have been set back one hour and the days are becoming shorter and the nights drawing in more quickly. So what does this mean for the street photographer? Well, it means that we should now be turning our attention to night photography. The daylight hours disappearing much earlier means that we can start our night photo walks that much earlier too, thus increasing the chances of creating dramatic street pictures under the street lamps, ambient and neon lights. It's also worth remembering that in these conditions it doesn't matter at all about what the weather is up to. No waiting around for the sun to get its act together and no worrying about the flat grey light that can often spoil your day. And if the rain does fall then everything comes alive with reflections which can add another dimension. Just a quick thank you to David Robertson and everybody at Brighton & Hove Camera Club where I did a presentation recently. They made me feel very welcome and it was great chatting to the members after, especially about night photography. What camera I use for night photography came up in discussion and I mentioned that I prefer to use my trusty old Olympus EM5 with the superb Panasonic 20mm Pancake f1.8 lens, shooting mostly with the lens wide open. This combination is lightweight, the lens is very small and as a result is easy to carry. No bulky gear for me. This is a great time to start a project that you can work on over the coming months. Decide on a theme, select a style and start capturing. Let's take a look at some examples and techniques on how to make the most of nighttime street photography. One of the best ways to photograph people on the streets at night is to capture them as silhouettes. For this you will need a good source of illumination from behind them, one strong enough to clearly define them. Try to capture your subjects while they are animated. Whether they are walking or just standing still, look for their body movements and try to capture them when their posture is most interesting, otherwise they may just appear as a featureless form. Sometimes their shape can be enhanced by their clothing or the hat they are wearing and it might be enough if the area around them has sufficient interest. You may find that the light picks out parts of their clothing which will help give definition to their shape. In this picture I focused on the triangle of light that the figure is standing in which although kept the shadow areas nice and dark, it still allowed for a little detail to be captured in the windows above. If you want to show more detail in your subjects, then you will need either more direct light or ambient light to fall on them. In this shot, I used the road area in front of the window for focus and exposure, because I wanted the texture in the road to counter the smoothness of the interior. The interior light was enough to pick out the cleaning lady, but I waited for her to appear in front of the white wall so that her shape would be well defined. The street lamp, just outside the frame in this shot, is enough to highlight this character whilst not spoiling the ambience of the scene. Night photography is a great way to use graphic elements in your pictures because they can stand out well against the dark shadows. A combination of road markings and metal railings merge here to bring movement to an otherwise static image. It's surprising what you can find to use to spice up your compositions if you look around to see what the light is catching and highlighting. Often I'll look for scenes like this and then figure out where I can work some human interest into it. It's worth revisiting your favourite shooting spots at night to see how different they look and what new opportunities might arise. It's amazing what comes to life at night under the street lights that you wouldn't notice during the daylight hours. Places become new spaces for the photographer at night and you may find that some areas which hold no interest for you during the day are transformed after dark. Of course with wider cityscape scenes you'll often want to capture the mood in more detail and portray the space to its full extent. I still like to include a significant human factor if I can as a particular point of interest. Again look to see where the light falls and how you can maximise it through exposing either for the lighter areas to increase the shadow or more generally to boost any detail that you might want. Elsewhere, shop windows are very much a part of the night scene, with their displays taking on a new dimension. You can use the reflections of the street lamps in them to good effect too. Neon signs being a particularly good source of illumination. And don't forget the effect the rain can have as it catches the light, bringing real mood to your pictures. Let's now have a look at what some of the photography greats have done at night and how they have turned the dark hours into striking street imagery. Brassai, of course, is famous for his late night depictions of Paris in the 1930s. Here, the fog lurking in the background adds a suspenseful touch to an already film noir moment. 
Interiors, inside and out, can play a big part in your nighttime street photography. Harry Gryart shows us how with these images taken in his native Belgium. Strong use of colour and character, very much his forte. Saul Leiter takes his wonderful colour work into the night with the same focus on shapes and reflections. Oh, and red umbrellas. For Japanese photographer Daido Moriyama, the emphasis is very much on the gritty and confrontational side of life in Tokyo. I love the colours and activity in this shot from Martin Waltz, as a reminder that the night doesn't have to be about dark alleyways and eerie looking encounters. Alex Webb's colours are somewhat subdued, but the child and his candy floss are a strong contrast to the two characters in the background. Well, I hope this video has shed a little light on what you can achieve on a night photo walk and how you can use the dark hours, not only to extend your street photography time after the sun has gone down, but also how you can use the evening and night time to further your creativity. There's much more on this topic in my book, Fine Art Street Photography, and it's available from the link in the description to the video below. Let me know in the comments below how you like to photograph at night and what advice you might have to help get the best pictures. Thanks for watching.